All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Athens, Georgia, presenting the challenger, Mr. Untouchable. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like to draw strike. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Engaging in the clinch here once again. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Lands with the ground and pound here. Back him out now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. They continue to exchange. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses there with the left. Nice leg kick land. Oh, spinning left. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice punch leg. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, huge Superman punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Just out of range with that strike. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Superman punch now. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Nice straight punch. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would evenly match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Good punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, 
being very active. Oh, big left hand there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. stances here. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Over and over he landed these big body kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Able to check the high kick. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Superman punch lands. Body kick is blocked. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Man, is he landed the high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. If your opponent had you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Lands flush with that right hand. Checks the leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Paul oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. That would stick in. Nice strike. Oh, and there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. He clips the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes.
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the somebody to get to the head, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Great punch landed with so much power. Big body kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. What a body kick. Big kick land. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him. And they separate. Great kick land. Dude, what a punch. Big head kick lands. He is not seeing those head kicks coming as his foot leaves the camera. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so active out there. Punch over the top. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night when everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punches for clinch. Nice strike. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Ooh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice punch, Lance, over the top. And he landed the right hand there. Defense there, huge block for him. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Way to hide that leg. Oh, he connects there. Big head kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big power shot there. Oh, and he lands another punch there. Hopefully the stack guy will give him credit. 
Give him credit for the punch, even if it's not just a jab. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice. Looking to land the right, just out of range. And there comes the separation now. Oh. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Beautiful kick. Back and forth we go. Plus right hand is true. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops it. Comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, he's got his back now. All right, half-guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge block! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Good exchange there inside. Good punch land. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Big punch from the clinch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just unable to quite find that range. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. Right hand upstairs. Ooh, what a head kick. Another one, yep. Oh, and the left hand. Big punch lands. Ooh. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh! Look at how bad. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, as it is, the weight difference, I don't know if you know you did too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You're cut up good. The ref wants to stop this fight. I need you to show something. You have to protect yourself. Let's get this fight. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and pound. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Side. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Throws the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Oh man, head kick lands. Nice defense there, huge block. Looked like he flipped him with a left hand counter there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, right to the mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't do is flat on your back, up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Big head kick lands. Oh. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Checks the leg kick. All right, late. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish. Oh! Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues.
continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Look at the turtle in that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 30 seconds now to go in the fights. What a punch. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, collar tie. Huge block there. Oh, big right. Oh, straight right. All right, so there it is, the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment, and the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's gonna be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He thought he was going to get the champion out of there tonight. He thought he'd get the finish. Instead, he needs all five rounds to get the job done here tonight. But the judges saw it his way. A monumental result here tonight in Las Vegas as we crown.